So how can you generate images from text that do without writing single line of code? There are a lot of cases when it comes to uh, generating images from text. You can use it for creating NFTs in crypto world and sell it on marketplace for hundreds and even thousands of dollars as well as use it for. Hello friends, welcome to the AI University. Today I'm going to cover very interesting topic and going to introduce you to the world of generating images from text which can be done in both ways that is you can build a deep learning model and if you are not that tech savvy then you can utilize a platform known as creative fabrica where you can just write a line of text and press the generate button so let's begin synthetic image generation or text to image generation is catching up the trend very quickly these days you might have heard about nfts or non-fungible token in crypto space which gave significant gains to investors we saw how some of the NFTs like Board Ape, Yacht Club and CryptoPunks are sold in millions of dollars. There are a lot of use cases when it comes to generating images from text. Some of them are number one, you can use it for creating NFTs in crypto world and sell it on marketplace such as OpenSea for hundreds and thousands of dollars as well as use it for building conversational chatbots to generate contextual images based on user input. Number two, text to image generation can be used for search engine to create copyright free images on the go as well as create synthetic images when there are limited search results. Next, it can also be utilized to train machine learning models where the existing real image data doesn't have much variety. Synthetic images can be generated to add more variation to the existing image data set for training the model. So let me now show you the non-coding or non-programming way of generating these images from text. So you can go to their website. I will provide the link in the description section. So here in this text box, you can just type any text and the AI generator will generate associated images. They have also given some example text here. So let me select one of the text here and press the ignite button. So their AI generator known as CF Spark creates images that are 100% unique. So you can see that when I press the ignite button, it gave a message your place in the queue. If you want to speed up this process, then you can take their subscription, which is $9 a month. And with that subscription, you will get 1000 speed credits that allow you to jump to the top of the queue. But that's up to you. You can use that platform uh, absolutely free to generate these images. Also, users with subscription can also download their own creations with commercial license. So you can see that these are some of the unique images that uh, this AI generator has generated. Now you can also decide the dimensions of these images by pressing on this particular drop down. Okay. Let me select two is to three and then press the ignite button once again. So you can also see this message here, skip the queue, get speed credit. So as I mentioned earlier, you can buy these credits uh, $9 a month. Uh, to jump the queue but it's absolutely free as well if you want to wait and have these images generated so you can see the dimensions are changed now earlier these were one is to one dimensions now the dimension is two is to three so you can visit their discount deal section also to see uh, you know various discounts which are currently going on and you can start the free trial as well but as I mentioned earlier, you can uh, use this platform absolutely free. So now let me move on to introduce a couple of deep learning models that could be utilized for creating image from text. Uh, please note that this is a programming approach where uh, one has to write the program using Python language and build some uh, you know, deep learning models. So number one in the list is generative adversarial networks or GANs that I have covered in my previous videos as well. So this model is used as a generator discriminator architecture to train, generate and rate synthetic images 
that create a creation feedback loop uh, that runs uh, multiple times until the generated synthetic images can fool the discriminator to be considered a real image. So you can see you can uh, go through this particular uh, link, Google developers link, where they have given the overview of the GAN structure and all other complete details associated with its architecture and how one can proceed ahead building such models. So if you want more information, I will just provide the link of this website in the description section. Another way to create synthetic images would be with the variational autoencoders and more recently vector quantized variational autoencoders which we call as VQVAE which actually creates a discrete latent representations and create more variety of images which is easier to train compared to GANs or generative adversarial networks. Now the next one in the list is DALI. This is the latest addition into these kind of models. DALI is a neural network created by OpenAI which is uh, trained on image text pairs with 12 billion parameters and can generate synthetic images from any text description. It is capable of various uh, types of image generation aspects like animal and objects with their um, you know anthropomorphic versions, transforming and adding variety to images and it can also uh, combine several aspects and details of images that are not related in a plausible manner. I would highly encourage you to visit this website which is OpenAI website to learn about Dolly because I personally like this model when it comes to generating images from text. You will be able to see the complete architecture as well as step by step approach to build uh, you know, these models. So that's it for today friends. Please like this video if uh, you like the information provided to you today. Also subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, this way our channel will get some boost and you will get notified uh, of any informative videos in future. Thank you.